Hi, my name is Benjamin Chung, and I'm an assistant professor of urology at Stanford University School of Medicine, director of robotic surgery. I'm the senior author on the manuscript being published in this month's Korean Journal of Urology titled Relating Prognosis in Chromophobe Renal Cell Carcinoma to the Chromophobe Tumor Grading System. I want to thank the Korean Journal of Urology for the opportunity to present our data. This study was designed to examine a tertiary academic center's experience with chromophobe renal cell carcinoma, as the overall prognosis of chromophobe renal cell carcinoma can be controversial. Some have suggested that the behavior of chromophobe renal cell carcinoma is less aggressive than clear cell renal cell carcinoma, but others have said that there is little difference in prognosis between chromophobe and clear cell renal cell carcinomas. Also, firm and grading of chromophobe renal cell carcinoma has been shown to have limited ability to prognosticate chromophobe renal cell carcinoma due to different histologic features of the chromophobe carcinoma. This is because of the, nu the nuclei of the chromophobe renal cell carcinoma are uniformly irregular, and because of this, almost all of them would be a Furman grade three. Because of this, newer grading systems have been proposed to allow for better stratification of prognosis. This newer system is known as the chromophobe tumor grade, and it is on a scale between one and three, with one being the least irregular and three being the most irregular. Chromophobe tumor grade three represents sarcomatoid dedifferentiation of the tumor. At our institution, we found 81 cases with adequate follow-up data and found that only one patient died of chromophobe renal cell carcinoma and only two patients developed disease recurrence. Our median follow-up interval was approximately four and a half years. Uh, what we found was that, that our main predictors for death from disease or disease recurrence was a chromophobe tumor grade of three and pathologic stage, with all of the deaths and recurrences linked with the pathologic stage of three and the pathologic stage of four. Therefore, we conclude that even at a tertiary care facility, there is a very low rate of death and recurrence from chromophobe renal cell carcinoma, and that chromophobe tumor grade can be prognostic for prediction of these events. I hope you will read our manuscript in this upcoming month's Korean Journal of Urology, and thank you again for the opportunity to present, to present our study.